Hello and welcome back. I am Tim McCall and I am currently joined by some members of the CSU Club men's lacrosse team. Uh, right here we have first year head coach Ryan McDonald and then over here we are joined by two captains, Michael Seaman and AJ Stewart. So guys, I want to first uh, say you guys have your season starting very soon. Mm -hmm. Good luck this season. I know you Thank guys you. are coming off of quite a successful year last year. Um, but Ryan, being your first year as a head coach, I wanted to ask you, what drew you to come back to CSU? I know um, you had mentioned before that you had played. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I played uh, from 2005 to 2008. Um, I uh, won a national championship in 2006 with the team. So um, just having that happen in my life, I just want to share it with these with these players. And I just want to you know, give back to everything that CSU means to me and you know the family aspect and the culture of it just really means so much to me so I just want to you know share it with these players and um, I came came in as a volunteer last season they really liked what I had to offer so they made me the head coach this year so it's a huge honor it's it's an incredible honor and um, you know I'm enjoying every second of it. All right and then for uh, Michael and AJ I know a lot of people especially out in Colorado they don't seem to, to love lacrosse the way that you guys do. Um, for people who haven't been out to see lacrosse game what would you tell them why is it worth coming out to see a lacrosse game and coming to see you guys play what's so cool about lacrosse? Well, I think it's just, you know, high pace, high energy. You know, it's a, it's a game you really can't take your eyes off of. You know, the ball's moving fast, players are running, running all around. Um, you know, it's just a combination of a lot of great aspects of different sports. You know, the skill, the technique, the finesse. You know, it combines, you know, really entertaining sport to watch. Yeah, so to go off of that, I mean, I think it's the fastest game on two feet. Um, it incorporates a lot of different uh, sports as well. So, and it's just something so different from any other sport that you see out there. Now you guys are both upperclassmen and you're both team captains. Um, let me ask you, what does it mean to be a team captain, to be chosen as a leader of your team? Uh, you know, for me personally, you know, I take a lot of, you know, a lot of gratitude from my teammates and, you know, entrust me with that, you know, position, that role on the team. Uh, you know, it means a lot of guys, you know, necessarily can think I do, you know, a good job in leading the team and being, you know, both a physical and, you know, vocal leader. And, you know, I'm just really honored to, you know, lead 40, 40 some odd guys to, you know, throughout our season and, uh, uh, try to represent the game and represent CSU well. I think uh, growing up here in Fort Collins, uh, even though CSU is just a, a club across team, it has been like a, a dream of mine to grow up here and help this uh, this team succeed. And it also shows that a lot of people have trust in you, whether you're a great athlete. Um, I think it's more uh, more so off the field that they look at you and really want 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 to want to help you. So. No, you say that it is a club sport. I, I attended the uh, Rocky Mountain uh, showdown that you guys had against Colorado uh, University last year. And I'll tell you, the atmosphere didn't feel like it was a club sport. Mm -hmm. It felt like it was a real Division One sport. And, and just the, the buzz around, around that, that swamp field was great. And I heard that you're going to be playing that game again this year. It's going to be in uh, Boulder this year. Uh, you know, I hope that a lot of the fans make that trek out to Boulder because it was quite an event. I'm very happy that I went, and it was a great experience. Um, now, I did want to ask you guys, last year you had 18 seniors on the team. It was a team where, you know, mo the majority of the guys, it seemed, were seniors. And then this year, you lose all those 18 seniors and you replace them with 18 freshmen. Uh, what type of adjustment is that to go from one extreme to the other extreme? You know, I think, you know, losing 18 guys, obviously all, you know, been a part of the program for three plus years. Uh, you know, that's hard to, hard to replace, hard to replicate. But at the same time, you know, incorporating all the new guys into the program, teaching them, you know, our values, our standards, whatnot, and trying to, you know, really include them in the, in the program of men's lacrosse, you know, kind of presents an interesting challenge, but a great opportunity to kind of build the next crop of, of CSU lacrosse players and, you know, continue to establish our brand in the league and, you know, around the school. And Ryan, what type of goals have you set for the team this year? Um, I mean, we just we always stick to our you know our three values of family, hard work, and greatness. I mean, those are the three that we always stick to, um, you know. And it's it's basically it's our culture, and we just we gotta have a strong culture. We want to have a high tempo team. Um, we want to be good in transition. We just want to you know set the goals of of beating all the teams that beat us by one last year. Um, working hard every single night because we have we have quite a few night practices. If you guys see us out there, um, we're out there working hard. These guys put it out there on the line every single night and. Um, you know, I couldn't be prouder than, you know, the couple of weeks that we've already had just to start. And I know that the season's just going to continue to roll and we are going to reach all of our goals um, if we keep working as hard as we have been. And then for all three of you, I want to ask, um, what are you looking forward to most for this upcoming lacrosse season? Uh, for me personally, I think it's that April 14th game against BYU. You know, BYU and CSU lacrosse have, you know, been a pretty fantastic rivalry in the, uh, in the MCLA. We, you know, combined both of us, we share the most championships and CSU has the most championships in league history. And, you know, just kind of embodying that rivalry, especially playing as a senior, 
at home uh, against BYU. You know, that's a game that we've had circled on our calendar for a really long time now. And, you know, that's just kind of something that, you know, in the back of your mind when you're running sprints or doing ground ball drills or whatever, it's just something that keeps you going. Yeah, I mean, those, those rivalry games like BYU, I mean, those, those are some of the games that I always look forward to myself. Um, we've kind of created some new rivalries with, um, rivalries with uh, GCU, Grand Canyon University. Um, they're ranked number one right now, um, but we'll have them at home here and uh, you know just just all the all the games that we just we lost by just one last year you know that's that's the motivation it's part of like you know we are going to get back you know there's five teams that we lost to by one and you know those guys were putting everything out there and you know just just falling just short I know that um, I'm looking forward to every single one of those games to to get pay those guys back you know and it's you know and as a player I have some of those vendettas still against some of those same teams so you know I still hold on to those pretty hard so AJ? Yeah, um, I think one game that I'm looking forward to uh, this upcoming year is going out to Georgia. Um, we've never been out there before, and uh, it's pretty much the mecca of the MCLA. And it will be interesting to head down there and visit them for a change. Um, and then I think just to reiterate off him is every night working hard and taking this one game at a time. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you had told me something for the fans of lacrosse here in Fort Collins. You have a stretch of home games. I believe you said it was six straight home yeah, games Yeah, six, six straight. We're starting, we're kicking off the season with, about, I think, about seven. S seven. Six games on the road. Yeah, yeah six mm -hmm. games on the road, six games at home. Um, just kind of where the cookie crumbled. Um, when is that first home game? Uh, the first home game is going to be March 18th against ASU. It's on a Sunday. It's the day that everybody comes back from spring break, day right before classes start. Um, but it's at 1 o'clock. It's going to be right out on this lagoon field that we have. Um, and we're gonna, you know, set up some bleachers and make sure that it's a, you know, a big, great atmosphere like you were talking about before. So, yeah, we're yeah that that atmosphere really is yeah. something special. And, it, and if you know you want to see a good game, it's going to be against ASU. So we we always go back and forth. They actually, you know, we have a big rivalry set up with them as well too. You know, so awesome. And then one more thing I wanted to ask you, Ryan, um, if there's anybody watching this program right now that wants to play lacrosse but doesn't necessarily know that CSU has a club lacrosse team or doesn't know yeah. how to get in contact with you. What's a way that they can get involved to be able to play lacrosse in the upcoming fall? Yeah, well, we can. you can always go to uh, csulacrosse.com. You can fill out one of our recruit forms. Um, that'll go directly to me into a database that will help me to, to find out that you actually want to play. Um, and it's something that, you know, you can also email me at coachmac at csulacrosse.com. And um, I'll be happy to talk to you about, you know, our values, our program, um, you know, how we treat it like a division program and not a club team. Um, and just, you know, we have so many guys that are out there at CSU that, aren't coming out every year, but we'd like to have a good showing in the fall. Um, obviously, we're going to take care of the spring first, but um, we really want to bring this program to greatness and you know achieve all of our goals. So it'll, yeah, just just send me any any emails or anything, and you know be glad to have you out on the team. So awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yeah. Uh, remember, home opener March 18th on the Lagoon Field, and then there's going to be five more home games right after that. So make sure you check out the CSU Men's Club Lacrosse Team. Sounds good to me. Have a good one. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.